Do you know what time it is, Vinny? Do you know what time it is, Vinny? It's time to build your mother's new setup. No one wants to see that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Hello there. I'm Nick from a channel called Gear Seekers. And if you don't know, we do videos about tech and computers and all that stuff that you guys love. But if you're not new here, you'll be familiar with this setup here. This is Claire's setup, the better half of Gear Seekers, the much better looking half of Gear Seekers. And we built Claire a new PC for editing and doing all of her work the other day. I'll put a link in the description to all of that. But this is her setup. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip apart this whole setup. We're gonna get rid of all the monitors. We're gonna give her a new monitor it is well one new monitor and the reason why we're doing this it's literally a half pipe <laughs> got a bit of transition in the middle right do some kickflip to fakies on the <laughs> on this here i pulled apart another desk for the other set in the other room if you don't know i'll put a link to that in the description as well before we continue this video big shout outs to omnidesk for partnering with us for this video series so yeah shout out omnidesk you guys are legends there is a link in the description down below if you want to get yourself a discount for any omnidesk stuff code gear seekers down there in the description make sure you, you you do that if you're in Australia and you want a new standing desk because that's what we're doing here we fixed up the other set and all the other stuff that we had and we pulled the desk apart and when we did that I was saying to Claire I'm like look at that speaker and the whole back of the desk is bowed more than the front obviously because these IKEA desks are made from a mix of plasticine and spit <laughs> spit and paper mache and they cannot support the weight of this so I got that there that leg Excuse we, my mess. Yeah, excuse Claire's. It's all getting cleaned up. And we're going to build Claire's new awesome setup and you're coming along with us for the ride while we do everything. And there'll be a laundry list of everything that we change through the video. So keep your eyes peeled. What's that? <laughs> what was that? That was this. Well, it's not my desk setup, so I'm not tearing it apart. Oh, why isn't Claire being on the channel more? Because you'll get more views and more subscribers. That is a horrible thing to say. That's, that's, that's I not, don't want to be in videos. It's just not how it works though, right? Like, it's just right. not how it works. Claire, what else did we get you for your setup that we didn't show? We bought a bunch of stuff for this as well. We've been collecting some stuff. So the mouse that I use for my editing PC and everything, and I really like it. Claire had one ages ago, that but died. She's like, I like that mouse. Let's get a new one. So we got Claire a new one. Yay. Do you guys like Bindi's new bed, by the way? Look, check this out. It's literally a box from Team Group. And Bindi figured out that this tiny little thing was a new bed. And Claire always makes room for Bindi beds on her desk. Everything Indeed. on my desk is just ghetto. It's all just leftover bits and I feel bad. It's okay. But today we're fixing it. Claire's going to keep this for like a week or two while she transitions over to the new PC. And the new monitor that we're using has a KVM built in, so it's going to help her with all of that. Awesome. You do it. You so do if, it. We, if, we, oh, <laughs> if we want to stop for like musical interludes where we start, you know how you're really good at that one dance oh, that I'm all the kids not. do on TikTok? I'm not. That dance? What is the dance? I don't know how to do it. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even going to start. Look how many monitors you have plugged in. You've got Four, your whole GPU is fully plugged in because you got three monitors and VR, like a spoiled brat. Nah, you deserve it. You do lots of the work. When you do lots of the works, you get to reap the reworky rewards. Thanks, Oh, Nick. this is so weird. Unplugged. Oh, look at that wriggle. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Omnidesk has got his cupboard cleared. I didn't notice that there. It's good, no. Uh, like, uh, you're like a, a child to me. The first part's done with removing the desk and all that stuff. Now we're gonna put together the new Omni desk. We went with the biggest size tabletop with the ergo curve. Just right. hang around, I guess, and watch us put together this desk. I don't remember how we did it. Bindi doesn't remember either. Looks like she wants to come over here and help. Can you come help me? That's 
that's not for cats. That's for cats. And look, we've still got the instruction oh, manual. Oh, remember last time when you didn't read the instructions? I lost it last time. <laughs> <laughs> One of the guys from Honeydesk was telling us that he can do it in 23 minutes. Legend. Which is pretty quick. <laughs> It's a massive desk. That's so cool. It's so huge. It's the next day. I actually uh, went skateboarding because the weather was really good, which was uncharacteristic for Sydney at the moment. It's raining again today, so I had to get out of my system. Anyway, off camera, I started to mount the monitor arm solution. So we've got the Arc Pro dual monitor arm from Omnidesk as well. They actually sell this as well. And you can buy this as part of the package when you buy a whole setup from Omnidesk. And we went with this one. First of all, obviously it's a dual monitor arm solution. We wanted to kind of minimize the things that we had bolted to the desk as well. So this one does bolt to the desk and it also comes with a kit where you can bolt it through the desk if you drill a hole, which uh, is... There's a couple ways to mount this. So down here, you can mount the bracket inside the hole. I decided to go against it. To install these is pretty easy. So it's got this plate. So this is just a standard Visa plate with 100 mil and 75 mil Visa mounting. But instead of, you know, attaching the arm and screwing the arm directly back into the back side of the monitor, if that makes sense. All you do is you attach this plate with the four included screws and some washers, pretty simple stuff. And once you're ready to install, it's labeled. So you just have that angle towards the top of your monitor and then you slide it into the mount and that's it. Like it's very easy. And if you want to pull the monitor off, you can push the clip in and slide your monitor out. It's a very elegant solution. I don't know why we've never used monitor arms like this before, Claire. Because they've got other stuff as well. Look, I'll, I'll quickly show you. Well, this is stuff that I appreciate, right? So the other monitor arms we've used in the past have these gas lifts, but these ones are like proper good. And you can adjust them as well. So, you know, if you want it to have a bit more tension in it, you can do that too, depending on where you want to put your monitor. It's got cable management and that runs all the way through them as well, which is awesome. And this monitor arm, isn't just a monitor arm. It's got some USB and audio jacks on the front too, which is nice. And then it's got all the cables pre-installed, which Claire was actually probably gonna use because she uses desktop USB quite a bit. Yeah, definitely. And by the rating of these cables, they're looking like full USB 3.2 as well, so. I hope so. One thing that we haven't agreed on yet is if we're putting the monitor arm in the center of the table, Claire loves this Dell monitor. It's like a 4K display she's been using for years. It's super accurate, super good, but she uses it... For Discord. <laughs> no, but it's not just Discord. I use it for my assets folders as well. Yeah, and all, yeah, all the stuff that Claire... I don't know how she does it, but I've seen how she uses it like on Instagram, she'll see what it will look like in feed, and then she'll use it for Discord and making sure everyone's being good. Be good. <laughs> the new PC is so beautiful, we don't want to hide it behind a monitor. Or the other thing is, I don't know if it's going to fit here. Aww, I we hope can, so. We can test fit. Look, we'll do it right now. The only thing I added to this 
off camera, it's, it's got 10 gigabit networking now. So it's pretty tight. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know, eh? I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world if it has to go the other side. I don't know how I feel about that being so close to the monitor. I was getting a new 34 inch ultra wide, which will be like... I'm still not sure how I feel about it being a flat monitor either. My brain using the other monitor in the Nook is telling me that there's a bulge in the middle of the screen, which isn't true, but my because I'm so used to having a curved monitor, it's my brain's like, hey, yo. <laughs> Hey, yeah. <laughs> I have the common sense. Claire has the design chic and I'm like, this is going to work. And she's like, no, it doesn't look good. And I'm like, you're sleeping on the couch. I don't sleep on the couch. I don't fit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've lost lots of weight. Thank you. I will fit. Look out. Look, my side profile is a lot. Look, the t-shirt is, is bad because I've got like this curved back. <laughs> but look, I've got a curved back. But if I like look at look at my profile, it's like a lot. You're so sexy. Mm. <laughs> Hello. Hello, you. <laughs> Hello, you. We stop now for cat break. Hello. More cat butt hole, but. Can I get a kiss? <laughs> Mini. Not for dad. Mini. Come on, can I get kiss? No. <laughs> Just me, to me. Not Mini. for dad. Some progress, let's do some fun stuff. Claire, it's time. We're gonna push your table into its final place. Its final resting place. All good. Ooh Look at that. There's only two cables that come off the whole desk. One is 10 gigabit ethernet and the other is power. Everything else we've put into the desk. And as I mentioned, there's some stuff that is not on the desk yet. You can roll out the carpet. Showed yourself a new rug from Ikea the other day. I like the color actually. I think it's quite good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. I told you. I, so complete, nice... I completely forgot what carpet. Yeah, trying. that's good for Binny because Binny will have love somewhere it. to roll around now in your office. This looks really good, Claire. One more thing. We we actually kept this bit till the end. Look how dirty our house is. <laughs> no, it's horrible. There's just stuff everywhere. Anyway, to visit our friends over at Peel Corp. Go on, Claire. Ooh la la. I never get to do the peels. That was your first. Well, not your first Well, not my, fir my first camera peel. Camera peel, yeah. Yeah. Wait, what are we talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, we'd finished the whole setup and we're looking and we're saying, we're just thinking to ourselves, something was missing. And that something was a set of audio engine speakers. Obviously, these aren't the speakers, but what I did is I went on the internet and I found a place to go out and buy a set of Audio Engine A2 Plus wireless speakers to complete the look. So that's the last part of the setup. Let's install the speakers. That's more like it. Now Claire's got some decent sound. She's not using her monitor sound. Now the reason why we went with the Audio Engine A2 Pluses were the Edifier speakers that she had before. I can't remember the model. I never remember the model of them, but they're just too big for this desk. And we wanted something that had a bit of punch to them, they were loud, they were clear. And I was like, you know what? Let's spend a bit of money and get Claire some decent speakers. So now the whole setup is complete. I'm not gonna talk about absolutely everything in this setup because there's just so many things, but the desk setup revolves around the OmniDesk Pro 2020 standing desk setup. Now we went with the largest size that they make in terms of the tabletop, with the ergo curve so you can sit right up against the desk and get up close and personal with your displays and whatnot. Now, the ergo curve's good because if you wanna sit a bit closer to your desk and kind of have your arms resting and your wrists resting on the desk 
being a little bit further back from your normal sitting position, then it can help with situations and for people really who have problems with their wrists and whatnot, like Claire does. Claire's got RSI on her wrist and she's had a broken arm that hasn't really healed properly over the last few years. So it's good for her to have that bit of extra side real estate next to her so she can rest her arms nicely on the desk. And what do you reckon so far, Claire? It's pretty good, right? So much better. Having a gaming chair is fine if you don't want to be comfortable. So I would suggest any of the ergo chairs if you have a setup that you're actually going to be doing work at because those gaming chairs, they are not comfortable. I'm being absolutely honest, they're all exactly the same and none of them are comfortable. I've been through a stack of them and I will never use one ever again. Do yourself a favor and do your back a favor, <laughs> get a proper chair. The keynote out there would have seen that we ditched the two curved ultrawise that we had on the setup before. Those monitors are about seven or, yeah, about seven years old now. So they were getting on a bit. So we replaced it with a single really good monitor that we reviewed. You can check out the review down below in the description. It's the Gigabyte M34WQ. It's not curved, it's flat, but Claire says that now she can't tell the difference. If I missed anything that I didn't mention in the video, I'll put it down in the description so you can have a look at the whole laundry list of everything that went into this setup, but especially thanks to Omnidesk for supporting this video and supporting this series of us upgrading all of our setups with standing desks. We've got a whole bunch more Omnidesk content coming and I, I just really appreciate support from companies who believe in what we do and having a comfortable setup to do all of your work and play is very, very important, especially for me personally. If I sit down for too long while I'm editing, even though I've lost a bunch of weight, I still get a really sore back. And sometimes I feel like if I just can stand up while I'm doing my work, it's going to be so much better because then I get that movement, I get the blood flowing to parts of the body where it doesn't usually flow. <laughs> that sounds so rude. <laughs> but guys, if you're in Australia and you wanna grab yourself an Omnidesk or any of their stuff that they sell on their website, use code GEARSEEKERS and the link in the description to get a discount. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? Anyways, guys, I appreciate you all very, very much for watching a series like this. And I know you guys like the vloggy content, so we're gonna make more of it. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peek, we seek. You know what, Claire? Cinematic things, right? But for a whole desk setup. <laughs>